Welcome to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show, a real estate investment program. Listen and learn how to use real estate to build wealth and passive income streams for you and your family. We bring you experts every day to discuss and answer your questions on everything from single family homes all the way up to 600 plus unit apartment complexes. And now, the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. Welcome to the show. My name is Al Gordon, and as always, we're working on your financial freedom. I get it. I totally get it. There are those of you out there that will not venture into the realm of real estate investing because of certain fears. And, and I know that. I absolutely know that because I've experienced that myself. I mean, I have questioned my personal ability to take my family to the next level by using real estate as the mechanism financially to get me to the end stated goals that I have set out for myself. And along that way, you're going to build a business. And, and some of you are afraid of that. I get that. It's not a problem though, but stay with me here because when you build this business, this business will start providing for you streams of passive income when you do it correctly. Now you can do it absolutely incorrectly, but we're going to advise you to do it correctly. So the first step really is to get yourself educated and we can help you with that at lifestyles unlimited. And once you get educated and you understand what the possibilities are, you can put together the framework for your plan of action and start acquiring residential income producing properties that will along the way reposition you financially so that your life is completely different in the future than it is right now. And along that journey, You'll start regaining control of your life until you get to that point where you have enough passive income coming in that it meets or exceeds your bills. And when that occurs, you've effectively retired yourself. And along that lines, you've regained control of your life. You get to make the decision as to whether or not you choose to go back to work. It's a really cool feeling. It's a very cool feeling. But some of you... Some of you are concerned about an element of that business model. Some of you are concerned about the ability to effectively manage your properties because the business model is built on the concept that you are going to provide clean, functional workforce housing for a sector of our world that absolutely deserves to have it. But maybe you're not really excellent at people management. Maybe you don't have what you feel is the experience base to correctly operate your properties. Or maybe you're concerned about, you know, staying up on the law and things like that so that you don't put yourself in a bad position or violate the law because we don't want to violate the law. We want to follow all the laws that are out there. Well, in that particular case, what you might want to consider is the concept of hiring somebody who is well-versed in managing properties. And it's okay. It's absolutely okay. I mean, we have members at Lifestyles Unlimited that self-manage their properties. We have members of Lifestyles Unlimited that have built their own management companies. And we have members of Lifestyles Unlimited that bring on professional third-party management to handle their properties because they feel that's the most efficient way to do business. And whatever works for you is the right answer. But along those lines, what I've done today is I've asked Leah Slaughter, who is the owner of OmniKey Realty, and they specialize in property management. They're a Lifestyles Unlimited vendor. They've been a part of our organization for a very long time. I've asked her to come on the show because what I want to do today is get into a discussion with her with regards to how you can better self-manage. And, and along those lines... I'm going to open up the phone lines today. I want to give you an opportunity to call in and get the advice from somebody who's literally in the trenches day in, day out, doing the business 
of property management. So if you have any question at all with regards to managing properties, even if you're trying to do it on your own, give us a call at 855-497-4335. Again, that's 855-497-4335. Now, let me just give you a little background. I met Leah about two years ago at one of our expo events. That's a big event that we throw every year at Lifestyles Unlimited. We've got one plan coming up uh, for later on this year. And Leah has always been at the forefront of everything that we do because she absolutely believes in the business model that we teach at Lifestyles Unlimited. And along the way, she provides a complimentary service to our membership for those people that want dedicated third-party management. And Leah is absolutely exceptional at what she does. Not only does she understand our business model, she provides services that support everything that we're doing. So Leah, how's it going? How's your new year? Oh, it's fantastic. Thanks so much for having me. Oh, it's, it's always a pleasure to have you on. I mean, you know, it's, I, I kind of feel like I'm, I'm cheating the world because I get an hour of your undivided attention. And until somebody calls in at 855-497-4335, I still get that full hour to myself. Am I, am I being selfish? <laughs> I don't think so, but it's definitely my pleasure to be here. So you've you've seen a lot of things go on in the last year. I mean, with with COVID nineteen and and you know people being impacted by the the lockdown and the pandemic. You've seen some some pretty significant things occur in twenty twenty. Have you not? Yes, it's been a very interesting nine or ten months for sure. Now, in your professional opinion, has has the floor completely dropped out of residential income producing real estate? Absolutely not. If anything, I think that we're approaching all-time highs and continuing to grow. The thing that astonishes me is how well uh, we recovered and how resilient these markets were. And the shortage of properties, especially in single-family rentals, because a lot of people are looking right now to go into the suburbs and go into these areas and have that space in case something happens again. It's just been an incredible thing to witness. Yeah, you're absolutely spot on. Hey, when we come back from the break, we're going to get into some of those management secrets you need to know. Warning. Listening to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show will change your life. We will teach you how to create wealth and passive income so you can be financially free. And now, back to your host. Welcome back to the show. Look, I know you've got a question. I know you are potentially considering investing in real estate, or maybe you already own real estate, and maybe you are concerned about how to manage that real estate. You know, how do you take care of the day-to-day -day operations? And, and you might be thinking that you need to be spending 24-7 on that property. And I'm here to tell you that's not the case. That really isn't the case. But there are some things that you need to take into consideration. And along that lines, one of the business decisions that you will make is whether you choose to self-manage the properties that you acquire or you choose to bring on somebody that does that type of business for you on your behalf to take care of that so that you don't have to. And on today's show, by the way, the call-in number is 855-497-4335. Again, that's 855 497 4 Three three five. And on today's show, what I've asked Leah Slaughter to do is to come onto the show. Now, Le Leah is the owner of OmniKey Realty. They're they're based out of the greater Dallas Fort Worth area, but they service markets across Texas. Now, if you just happen to be living outside of Texas, should you turn the show off now? No, you absolutely should not, because the wisdom that's going to come from Leah for the rest of the show is going to give you some insight as to how to effectively property manage. And along that lines, you'll you'll make a decision or you'll hit a decision point along the way where you will decide whether or not it makes sense for you to self-manage or to bring on that third party. So Leah. You work with a lot of Lifestyles Unlimited members. Um, what, what do you find 
I mean, what is the biggest reason you hear from the Lifestyles Unlimited membership with regards to why they choose to bring you on to manage their properties as opposed to self-managing? I think for a lot of people, it's the uncomfortableness with dealing with tenants when there's problems, whether it's a repair, whether it's that they can't pay. I, I look at it sometimes that we act like we're a school teacher and a therapist and a cop all in one. And so, you know, when everything's great, it's really easy. But if you ever do have an issue, even if it's a small one, some people don't want to have to worry about that and definitely not dealing with it in the middle of the night or on a weekend. And that's where we come in. What kind of issues come up with tenants? I mean, what, or I should call them residents, because really, I think that's a kinder word. And, you know, since we're, we're all about changing how we label things in this country right now, <laughs> what kind of things tend to come to the forefront that make people realize that, that maybe they, they're in over their heads and they, they really need to step across the threshold? I think the most common thing I hear is where someone has gotten very friendly with their tenant, where they've been there a long time, they've been really good tenants, and then something happens and the owner can no longer be objective or just feels like they're not being hard enough. And so, for example, we'll have someone that's had a tenant in their property for five or six years and they've been great tenants and then all of a sudden they're struggling. This has been the year of struggle. And so we have a tenant that hasn't paid. The owner may need to file eviction. And if you listen to how we talk about our model, it's very much business as usual and held everyone accountable. And so if we have someone who's become friendly with the tenants, they may not want to be someone who goes out and files evictions or is hard and heavy-handed in collecting that rent. And so we've had a lot of those calls this year for people that are ready to take a step back and not have to be the bad guy. Yeah, you know, that that makes sense to me. I, I actually have a good friend who was self-managing. I think he had about, he told me, right around 20 single-family homes. And, you know, he, he made the decision to go to third-party management just because it was, to him, the logical step to become even more passive in what he was doing. And what he really wanted to do was to focus more of his time and attention, not to managing the ongoing operations, but to actually going out and acquiring those new assets and rehabbing those assets. And and what it did for him was it bought his time back. It was a business decision that made absolute sense to buy his time back. Do you, do you see a lot of that? I see a lot of that, especially in those that are really trying to grow their portfolio and get to the next level. And, you know, you have to think about it this way. If the whole goal is to quit your day job and to earn that passive income, you don't want to pay, you know, yourself uh, something that you could pay someone else to do $70 a month. So if it's going to take four or five hours of your time every month when you could pay someone like me 65 or $75 to do it, It's really counterproductive when you get to a certain level. And so, yeah, I think it's definitely a natural path of progression and growth as you have more and more properties to bring in someone to oversee that. Otherwise, you're just working another full-time job. Yeah, you know, that makes sense to me. I I was reading in uh, a book called uh, The Millionaire Mindset. I actually did a show on it literally last year. And um, one of the concepts that hit me square between the eyes was the fact that in that research that was done, The majority of the millionaires determined that the value of their time was about $325, not per week, not per day, but per hour. So when you get your business up to the point where the value of your time is that amount of money, it does make more sense financially to bring on a third party to free up your time because your time is better spent in that $325 an hour realm than it is in a lesser realm. Absolutely. And, you know, one of the things I think about is the idea that you want to have as little in a deal as possible so that you can exponentially grow the number of deals that you're doing. Going back to the lifestyles model, best model, best or best property, best price, best everything. And the thing that I see is that it takes time, it takes energy, it takes effort, but it's extremely scalable. And so if you only have a few properties, It's something very easy to do, but to get to that next level, you're going to have a whole team that you're going to build around you, whether it's going to be your contractors, your agents, your property managers, and we're just one tool in that box, but we are there to help you grow and scale it to get to that next level. But to have the best model and best price is also about making sure that you're able to do that every single time, no matter how large you get, and we're there to help you do that. 
Yeah, and you absolutely are because I, I know a lot of folks that, that use your services, and I, I hear nothing but good news about the services that you provide because you guys have actually put together a very good model on how to effectively manage the the property, whether it's a single family property or a multifamily property, or, you know, even, even some of our members that, that delve into other forms of commercial real estate, although we don't teach that you still provide the framework to assist them in that area. We do. And we've built the entire model around us being investors ourselves. You know, we bought something like 70 units this year and yes, we're very high volume, but it's because of the property management model that it allows us to do that and following these models. And so it's very important to me that somebody really understands what's going on with their property. So whether it's our visits to the property, doing walkthroughs, whether it's having in-house maintenance so we have more eyes on the property and control of costs, it's really a one-stop shop for property management. Yeah, I agree with you. Hey, we come back from the break. We're going to get into ownership. Stick around. Welcome back to the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. It's time to turn up the volume and fine-tune your passive income plan so you can create the lifestyle you've always wanted. Welcome back to the show. If you'd like to call in, I'd love to have you. As a matter of fact, if you have any question at all about real estate investing, feel free to give us a ring. Now, if you have a question about how to property manage, whether you you want to do it yourself, you want to use a third party, however you want to do that, feel free to give us a call on that too, because we are here to answer those questions. The call in number is 855-497-4335. Again, that number is 855-497-4335. Three, five. Now, Leah, I, I know your backstory. So I know that, you know, at the ripe old age of 18, you decided to take a slightly different approach to life than most of us do. I mean, most of us, you know, we go to school, we get good grades, and then we, you know, go to college and we get more good grades so that we can hopefully get into a job that's going to, you know, pay us income. And then maybe we get some retirement benefits. And then we slug along at that for 30, 40 plus years. And then we get to a point in our life where we go, okay, that's it. It's time to retire. And hopefully we've got this big bucket of money sitting there and we don't know what to do with it other than to like tap into it periodically and pull money out and try and live off of that money in old age. And then we pray that we don't die, or we do die, I should say, before we run out of money. But you uh, you took a different approach. What did you do at that ripe old age of 18 that was contrary to conventional wisdom? <laughs> I started a real estate firm. <laughs> I know. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, we, uh, <laughs> yeah you know, it's, uh, it's interesting. We... We knew that we wanted to go into business, and we knew we wanted to go into rentals, and we got thrown into it. You know, we we got into the business. We got thrown into rentals. The market was crazy, and we really felt like it was going to crash, and so we felt like rentals were going to be the wave of the future. So we started doing property management and getting our hands on as many rentals as we could, and here we are 15 years later. It's It's been a wild journey, and we've been infinitely blessed. Yeah. And I'll tell you what, a lot of our members have been blessed by the services that you provide to them because, you know, it is not all property management companies. Let me just be really clear. Not all property management companies are effective at managing properties. They, they really aren't. You, you really have to do your homework and find the ones that understand the, the methodology of the business model to properly and effectively manage. Now, you know, and I'm I'm not trying to beat up anybody or or along those lines, but you know, it's 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 the same as finding a good doctor. You know, the the person that graduates last in their medical class is still called doctor, but is that the person that you really want providing you those medical services? And I think it's exactly the same way if you choose to venture into third party management. You really need to interview and understand the services and the methodology that that business is going to provide to you so that you can operate your business effectively. So, you know, 
Leah, I, I know when you started out, you, you saw some flaws in the marketplace and, and that, that was kind of your niche. That's, that's where you decided to, to walk because you saw problems that needed to be remedied. What were some of those things that, that you tackled early on? So I think the biggest thing that we started day one was walkthroughs. And we really, I think it's integral to everything that we do for not only maintaining a property, checking on a property, letting the tenants know that we're watching, but also having accountability for our properties. And, you know, when we started doing those, it was unheard of. And when we raised the the question at different events and with other companies that had been doing this far longer than we had, we got crazy eyes and it's so funny because now I look at some of the competitors and some of them are doing it once a year and some of them might do it a couple times a year. But when we started, it was unheard of. And what a walkthrough consists of is essentially walking into and around a property and noting any issues, anything a tenant is potentially overlooking that could be causing damage like a roof leak or foundation movement so that we can get to it early. But then also holding the tenant accountable to fix things while we're there or with a follow-up check so that it's always in tip-top shape. And because of that, we can show and market our properties two months before the tenants move out and pre-lease it. And so it's integral to everything that we do. And then the thing that really made the other companies mad is we did it for a much lower price and included a whole bunch of stuff like walkthroughs for free. So it it really just kind of shook up the entire industry. And I, I got many calls from people saying, what are you doing? You can't possibly make money doing this. And and obviously we did and we do, and we've kept to that same model and almost the exact same pricing structure all these years. Yeah, and you know, those those walkthroughs, I agree with you. I think they're they're absolutely important. How, how often do you guys get out there to do those things? It really depends on the tenant. You know, if we have a problem tenant, we're going to be out there frequently. I have some tenants right now where we're out there every couple of weeks until all the issues are fixed. But generally, it's four times a year. And so we find that with that frequency of visits, we can check what's going on. We can see the damages. We can really get a feel for the tenancy, and it helps us at renewal, and it helps us with making repair decisions and everything else. Now, with COVID, it's been an interesting year, and so we are actually bringing out a self-walk service, and that will be starting next month. And that will give the opportunity for very good tenants to do a video walkthrough with one of us every other walkthrough as long as everything is fine and for as long as COVID continues. And so we're also trying to, and we always have, kind of work with what's happening around us and what's happening in the industry. And of course, people are very uncomfortable with people entering their home right now. And so this is one of the things we're doing to work with our model and keep our model while also making sure that we can be sensitive to what's going on in the world right now. Now, do you find the the residents are are receptive to having these walkthroughs? Yeah, because we're very clear about it. Tenants know that we do it when they sign the lease. They know it's a part of what we do. And you have to remember that us walking through the property is also for their benefit. It keeps that property clean. It makes sure that that's a, you know, it's in great condition. And it they know that we're going to watch it and that we care and that we're going to maintain it. And so a lot of the properties, when we're hired to take over from another company, sometimes what happens is we go do our first visit and there's major issues because it hasn't been checked on. And tenants can appreciate when we provide them this beautiful property that's perfectly maintained and that we need to keep coming in there to make sure it stays maintained. And one of the things we tell them is we're not just looking at you. We're looking for things that you don't know to look for. I can't tell you how many times we do a walkthrough and we find just a tiny little water spot in the corner of a closet that the tenant had no idea was there that if we hadn't done that walkthrough, we never would have known, and it could have become a major roof leak. So it's also about protecting the tenant, too. Obviously, at the end of the day, our service is for the owner, and it's for our client. But the tenant appreciates that, too. And the ones that would have a problem with it are the tenants we don't want. Yeah, it, it makes sense to me. I mean, I remember, you know, there were periods in my life where, you know, I rented property, and, you know, it would have been nice to know that the owner of that property was in partnership with me in essence, because, you know, I, I believe in my opinion, I believe that residential income properties are truly a partnership between the person that owns the property and the person that resides in the property, because, you know, it's, it's one has to help the other. And if, if that relationship is strong, it creates 
a dynamic relationship, which is just, it's win-win for everybody. And and by doing those walkthroughs, you know, not only do you have an opportunity to take a look at what should be repaired, you also can assist the resident with saying, hey, you know, did you notice that up there? And they, they say no. And you say, well, we're going to get that taken care of because that looks like it could become a problem for you. You know, I, I think that that's just part of the win-win concept. What do you think? I totally agree. I think it lets tenants know that we're there for them and that we're going to keep making sure that that property stays the great one that they rented in the first place. And what I also find is it builds a relationship with them in a professional manner that then when there is a problem, they feel like they can reach out. You know, maybe they need to pay rent a few days late. They know who their point of contact is, who they've met, and they are comfortable calling because they know us. We're not just some company that resides in a big office. Yeah, you're all part of the team. Hey, we come back from the break. I'm actually going to talk about ownership with Leia. Stick around. We're back with the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show. We're here to answer your questions and help you become financially free. 855-497-4335. Again, that number, the call-in number for you to call is 855-497-4335. Anything you want to ask Leah or I, we are here for the next 10 some odd minutes. We'll get you your answer. But before we get to any phone calls that might come in, Leah, what I want to do is I kind of want to shift gears and I want to talk a little bit about the ownership side of real estate. So along the way, you realize that Owning real estate was was really a big component of your equation to change your life. What what caused you to step in that direction? You know, we bought our first house at 18 and 19, and we knew that we didn't want to throw money away on rent. And I think that that mentality is something that we've lost a lot of over the last few decades. And so, you know, it's it's interesting. We moved into our second home not long after we adopted our first child. We needed more space, and we turned that into our first rental. So here we are, barely adults with a rental property, and we were working with all these rental properties. And what we realized is that you can literally let a renter pay down your mortgage, pay cash flow in your pocket every month, and buy in markets that you hope and expect to appreciate and really build a way to retirement that a 401k or nothing else could ever do for you. And so we knew that was the path. We knew that was what we wanted to do. And it's something that we're capitalizing on the fact that home ownership is at 50 year lows. You know, there's so many people needing to rent, so many people who want to rent. And that's the big shift that I've really seen in the last 15 years is the caliber of tenants that are out there are very high because it's not people that necessarily have to rent. It's people that don't want to be tied down people that don't want to have those responsibilities, but they're well qualified. And that's exactly the renter pool that we want. Yeah. I mean, you're spot on there. There are some absolutely wonderful people out there that want the products that we provide. And, you know, when you're providing the best product in the marketplace, you're attracting the best people as residents. It's, it's a recipe for success. It absolutely is. And, You know, I also know that you've been very busy, even during COVID, even during COVID. I know you took down some like 44 properties that you currently have in rehab. Tell tell me what's going on there. So we bought about 70 units in the last 12 months. And as of just over a month ago, I had 44 units in rehab at one time, which you're probably thinking that sounds crazy. But really, when the deal is there and the numbers make sense, I figure out a way to make it happen. And that's the benefit of having my time to be able to do that and knowing the model that's going to make it succeed. And so, yeah, we've got, um, I've got about 20 tenants moving in in the next week and a half. And I've got an apartment complex I'm almost finished with. I've got another apartment that we're in lease up right now that rehabs are almost done. And a whole bunch of single families closing on two tomorrow. So, we, we definitely stay busy, but again, it's all because we believe in the model and we believe in this path and it's done for us exactly what we expected it to and, and God willing, it continues to do so for the rest of our lives. What is your portfolio up to right now? How many, how many units do you currently own? 
I haven't counted in a while. I did four or five 1031 exchanges last month. I want to say I'm somewhere around 115, but I'd have to double check that. That's that's pretty good from one to 115-ish in well, how many years? 15 maybe? Yeah. You know, the biggest, we really started heavy heading it four years ago. And so if I go back four years where we only had, you know, less than a dozen, it's, it's been a huge, huge projection. And we do a lot of 1031 exchanges and, you know, constantly using equity to buy new and capitalizing on that. So my goal for this year is probably to hit about what I did last year, another 70 or so units. That is pretty impressive. I'm sitting here being impressed. And, you know, I have to be brutally honest now, because when I first met you, I realized that there there was there was something about you that just kind of stood out from the crowd. I mean, you're you're a go getter. You take the time to learn the methodology you need to learn, and then you put it into practice. So, in essence, you learn, you execute, and then you operate. and And what has all of that done for your lifestyle? You know, my goal when I started the mass acquiring of rentals was to try to replace my primary income. You know, that's all of our goals, right, is we don't want to have to work forever. In my case, I love what I do and I love my business, but I also want to one day be able to step back from my business and and live. You know, I've got three adopted children. I've got a grandson. So although that's like my 30-year plan, I'm still preparing for that. And I also knew I wanted to be massively successful, and no one was going to do that for me except for me, myself, and I. And so for me, it has really changed not only monthly cash flow, but also my comfort on a day-to-day basis. You know, when you work a nine-to-five and you work for someone else, there's always that question of what if, what happens, what if they go out of business, what if COVID tanks the business, what if the next thing that comes up is a crisis. And, you know, the amazing thing about working for yourself, and as a landlord, that's exactly what you're doing, is you know people are always going to need homes. You're always going to have something that has value because that house can burn down tomorrow And you still have insurance and you still have land value. And so it really is an incredible thing to be able to take a deep breath and know that I don't ever have to worry about paying my bills because that is what that passive income has done for me. I know that no matter what my future holds, I am always going to have my income. Yeah, I'm just sitting back here going, yep, spot on, yep, spot on, yep, spot on. And, you know, I I guess the, the big thing that people need to understand is that Investing in real estate isn't that difficult. It, it really is not that difficult to do once you've got the right map. Would, would you agree? Absolutely. It's about the map, the team, and the willingness to do it. It's not hard. It, it can sound hard and scary, and, and it really it isn't. It's so simple. You just have to have the right education, which you guys are amazing at, and have the right team to help you do it which you are amazing at as, as a member of our team, because I mean, you know, you've been a part of our expo. Well, since, since I've been a member since 2017. So are you guys on board with hanging out with us at the end of April for the next expo? Absolutely. Absolutely. We are looking forward to it. Here's a question I've always wondered about. So you guys set up a booth and you know, you get to talk to all these different members. What, what kind of conversations do you have? A lot of the conversations are about what we do, uh, obviously. But for me personally, I teach a lot of classes, as you know, and it's about what we do and why we do it and how we use it to our advantage. And so that's one of my favorite parts because even if someone never sees me again and they never talk to me again, they can leave with just a little bit of a tidbit. Maybe it's just one thing they heard that I said that will transform their entire model. And so for me, it's, it's about giving back, just like I know it is for you. But it's also about getting to mingle and mix and talk to people that have the same goals that I do. And that is to make a difference and to make money and to prepare for the future and, and provide for my family. And so for me, Expo is it's like getting together with a whole bunch of friends. And instead of going out and getting drunk, you're getting to, to get drunk on amazing conversation and just fantastic partnership. And that's what I love about it. Yeah, that is cool. Hey, you know, we're, we're getting close to the end of the show. So I've, I've got to ask you, what are the one, two, maybe three things that you would advise anybody that's self-managing properties that they, they need to stay on top of? Number one, making sure that your lease allows for the things that you need to do, like walkthroughs, like re-renting the last 60 days of the lease, 
you need to make sure that if you're in a state that allows these things, that you have that protection in there. The other thing that you need to make sure you're doing is properly qualifying your tenants and making sure that you are collecting proper deposits and background information. And so like with us, we're going to check their eviction history, not just that they've been evicted, but also if they've been filed against and canceled. You know, apartment complexes are notorious. Day four, you have an eviction notice. Day seven, you're filed on. And we could see all of those filings, even if the tenant paid it off very quickly. And then the third thing I would say is make sure you have the right team. And the team is going to be your contractors, your vendors, your lenders. It's going to be your wholesalers or the people that you're getting your properties from. The team is integral because the model is extremely important. And then the team is what makes that model come to life. And so the best advice that I can give is make sure that you're following the map and make sure that you're following the same steps every single time. Be consistent and don't stray from the model. Yeah, I mean, that's spot on. I mean, almost like I said it. I'm just joking. But <laughs> <laughs> any, any last thoughts you want to share with the audience? You know, the last thought that I would share is there's a lot of misinformation right now about the market in general and a lot of fear going on. And the one thing that I want to say from being in the trenches and dealing with specifically the Texas market is it is amazing how resilient we've been and it is incredible how strong the market truly is. The rental market is doing amazing. We are seeing everything move so well and prices just continuing to increase and inventory is still very low. So don't listen to the fear mongering. Listen to the people that are in the trenches doing the work and seeing what's going on and don't miss out on the opportunity to not have to do a nine to five forever. Yeah, that is spot on. Hey, thanks a lot, Leah, for being on the show. I really appreciate it. For those of you that are trying to figure out how to get started, start by going to freeworkshoplivestream.com so that we can show you the map on how to go forward. And remember, it's not the money, it's the lifestyle. The Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show is for entertainment purposes only. Please consult a professional regarding your personal investment needs. Nothing presented on the Lifestyles Unlimited Real Estate Investor Radio Show constitutes an endorsement, recommendation, offer, or solicitation to buy or sell any product or security.